Hello and welcome back to Master T. It's another day, another training session. Alright, how do I feel? Well, I just woke up, so hard for me to be feeling bad already. But then hard for me to feel good already. I, I just, I slept too late. I got, I slept way too late, so I'm not really sure I feel good. I'm okay, is what I'm trying to say. I'm okay. They just started for me. It's morning. Mm. <clears throat> Don't really like mornings. All right. What is this game even called? I, I, it takes me a while to get going in the morning. Uh, mm. uh, not even opening my eyes, just looking through my... Just, just using my sense of the world just just close my eyes here try to sleep a little bit more yeah just I can do this game with my eyes closed that's how good I am do it in my sleep even and still talk you can probably imagine none of that's true that's it's not even hilarious not even funny I'm trying okay just don't judge it's early. Early, early. Okay, word bubbles. Ah, barrel. I mean, barrel. Barrels. Barrel. Barreler. Barreling. I mean, ah. Okay. Bard. Bards. Barter. Oh, barter. That's what I'm looking for. Barter. Bartered. Totally something else from barter. You know, the... It's it's a total new... It's a new word. Not then bard. Which is a... Don't make me explain it. It's just a... It's a storyteller. Alright. Barring. Bartending. Tenders, perhaps? Bar... Barley. I can't think of where, how to make it longer. All right, so obviously some words are easy to to deal with, and others, like bar, make a lot of stuff out of that. And this one too, I bet. Bon. Latin for good, I think. Or is that just French? It might just be French. But it it comes from Latin somehow. Alright, uh, bon, bon, okay, bon, bonk, that's just something simple, bon, bonkers, alright, bondings, okay, bon, alright, I said it was a root word, it's a prefix, I just can't think of anything it goes with, bon, um, bon, bon, what, what, I accidentally pressed P, uh, I can't think of it, I can't, what it is, I can't think of how to spell anything, the words I'm thinking of, they're too long to actually spell, because I, I'm not very good at, I guess, I guess I can't spell things, you know, autocorrect, hard to spell stuff on your own anymore, huh? Auto correct. Yeah. Uh. Airy? You sure that's not a word? Really? Maybe spelled differently. All right. Um. Airline. Airliner. Airplane. Not aeroplane. Is aeroplane even a word? I I've seen people spell aeroplane. Aeroplane, like, like that, you know, aero. Without the air in the front, it's just no, it's a uh, a e or something crazy, stupid too. What? What? What kind of word is this? Airting? I, I never said. I never. I almost accidentally pressed T. It just had no idea that would work. It's a new word. I, 
I'd look it up, but I'd, I'll forget by the time I finish recording, so I guess I won't. Oh, is this a new game? I guess we should go through this, huh? Instructions? Remember the location of each monster and the beat in the garden. Then lead the gardener to the flower. Try not to hit any monsters. Move by clicking on the adjacent squares. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Which I normally use, but I won't, so you can see what I'm doing. If you strip on a monster, you'll lose health. Regain health by picking up beets. Try to pick up all the flowers before you lose your health. Bonus points. After reaching the flower, click on all the squares containing monsters. This is difficult, but try your best. Difficult? Impossible? Huh, <laughs> not for me. Bring it on, cactus monster. Bring it. Bring it on, whatever you are, yellow thing. Bring it. Not afraid of you guys. I've memorized every single pattern in this game. There are only a, s a few ways you guys can spawn. Okay. This is... Uh, I, I recognize this pattern. Yeah, it's true. I, all I have to do is see a few of them. I know where the others are going. There are only a few patterns, you see. It's a, it's a simple game, really. It's a simple, simple game. What? Huh? There's one more? What? What do you mean there's one more? Oh, of course it's there. I could have gone... Oh, God, that's just a failure to think prop. I just... God, it's a failure to think, huh? That's just being me being cocky for no reason. Just... I, I am serious, though. This is a special pattern, you know. I said I was going to use my mouse. I, I, I lied. Arrow keys. I'm sorry. Just, it's a lot faster. And now I'm all about speed. Alright, so some patterns are easier to remember than others. Um, some of them are slap yourself in the face easy. Never used that expression before, but it's the first time for everything. This one is one of those slapping your face easy ones, in my opinion. It's a snowflake pattern, which I like to think of it as. I don't really think it's a snowflake, but it's what I think of it as. <laughs> ah, what's this? Oh. Okay. I've got a name for some of them. So this is the little candy. It's the, it's a little candy formation. I, I, I forget what candy it is that I'm thinking of, but there's a... I, I remember eating candy that looked just like this. Just like that. Just You could find that candy in four pixels. And that, that's the candy I'm thinking of. I, I don't know what exactly, just... Probably could be anything, to be honest. Anything that you wrap up in a, well, a wrapper. Not a wrapper. A wrapper. Okay. Spill that with a W. I'm thinking of the W one, not the R one. Okay? And definitely not the CR one. Though some people would disagree with that. Some people would say that there's no such thing as the R. Some people would say that the R wrapper is misspelled. It should actually start with a C. I'm not sure I have that hold that opinion, but... Hmm... <laughs> Still, I have to admit that that's a funny way of thinking about it. Okay. How? So this is... So if you think you've seen this formation before, well, it's because you have. We saw it a little bit earlier, just oriented a different way, I do believe. Did we? I, I think so. It looks awfully similar. I... I I wouldn't want to say that it was the exact same, just turned up side down or sideways or some way, just because that, you know, would be embarrassing if I was wrong, but it really looked like it, okay? It really looked like it. Okay, this is another one of those really easy, simple ones. What? 
What? Oh, that's where I started. No, this is where I started. What? This is another one of those easy, simple ones. How did I fail? Well, to be honest, TBH, I actually have never seen this one before. Okay, I, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I've not actually seen this one. This one looks new. There's nothing. It looks new. Don't judge. It just, it looks a little new. I don't think I've seen it before. I probably have. I probably have. It's just, I didn't, I don't think so. Okay, this one gives me some trouble sometimes. Not today, I'm remembering the candy pattern. Little candy. Just have to watch out for the candy. Make sure to avoid the candy, lest I get fat. Lest. How about that for a word, huh? Lest. Wow, that, that, that's a... Amazing word no one said in 10,000 years, huh? 10,000, more like 10,000 seconds. People use that word all the time. I mean, 7 billion people. I'm sure they, that someone just used it five seconds ago. It wasn't even me. I said it at the same time someone else did, probably. In fact, someone probably just had trouble saying probably. At the time, I just had trouble saying probably. And I didn't even stop having trouble saying probably. And someone out there is probably joking about that. As I'm joking about this. And they're being just as unfunny as I am, I'm sure. If that's even possible. Alright, so I got some bonus points for my extra beats that were in my health. If you can't read through this, well, uh... I would be surprised, actually, but to be, actually, I hadn't really noticed how much of an illusion it is that you can see. Th it's your, your brain. It's not an illusion, really. Your, your brain is just so amazing at making sense out of the ins unsensible. See, if you look closely at this, it probably becomes hard to see what it actually says. Disillusion. Disillusion. It says D I S. I L L U S I O N. But see, it's from a field of dots in white, but it actually is gray in here. It's gray between these black dots, which makes it a form of letter. It's really amazing how they did that. It's a great illusion. We'll go through these illusions when I'm done with this game, okay? I'll show it to you. They're, they're really awesome. All of them. Ah, I love optical illusions. Huh? When I was a little tiny baby child, I just loved spending hours spacing myself out all over them. Just staring at an optical illusion and letting my mind get blown to smithereens. Just mind equals blown. I just did that so oh! does your mind equal blown point six seconds left mind blown perhaps no yes wait why is there no trying oh yeah I'm probably not gonna win this time huh I used to be good at this game, and then the trackpad happened. Then I started using a trackpad, and, well, trackpad just doesn't agree with this game. It requires too many quick mouse movements. See? I'm dead. One, I mean, I used to be able to leave ten seconds on the clock. No problem. And now I'm lucky to get them then completed at all. I had some trouble saying completed it all. I just barely completed it. Ow! Uh oh. Uh, how did that work? That didn't even seem like it should work when I, I just made that thing disappear. I thought that was gonna. F oh, I'm confused. I'm confused. Help! Help! I'm. Oh no! I'm dead. 
No! No! Oh no! My score is going to be so bad. You're not even going to be able to see the illusion that I got from this game. That I have gotten it from it in the past. That's. Have we even played this game before? I sh I, I realized that we hadn't played this game before, and then I completely forgot that you might want to know the rules. Ah. Uh, that's such a me thing to do, isn't it? That's such a thing that I do. So just stupid. Just, just moronic. Uh, no, 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 no. No, we, uh, no, we have to go back. No, go back. Back. We have to play it again, but not really play it again. Because all I'm going to do is show you these great... And I do mean great, great, great illusions. Like, you've probably seen this one before. The Ebbinghaus illusion. No offense to you, Ebbinghaus, if I pronounce your name incorrectly. I just don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Never heard it pronounced, actually. So, post in the comments. What do you think? Which, which circle, which orange circle is bigger? Obviously, these blue circles are the biggest things here and these little ones are the smallest but um actually these orange things regardless of what you post in the comments they are actually the same size it's not a it's not your recording you mean pause the video it's not some kind of weird flashy thing i'm doing to you it's a static shot and they these are the same size no oh, i'll explain it also i mean it's because these small things make this look big relatively. And this looks small relatively to these things. Your, your brain is all about determining relative size. It's part of how it can determine depth. So you would think this is a lot closer to you than this one. It's two-dimensional, so because I don't know how to record 3D on a two-dimensional screen, so... So this one appeared to your brain to be closer to you than this. And that makes this a lot smaller than this. It could also be due to relative... I mean, there are a lot of reasons why. I think that that's my reasoning. I don't know if it's correct or not. So here we have the Blivet. I don't know if that means the Blivet, that Blivet made this thing or if it was by a Blivet. I don't know. But I do know... Is that it's a it's a pretty awesome, uh, impossible shape. There's nearly no illusion going on here. It's just it's an impossible shape, or maybe it's an illusion to your mind that it would be possible to create an impossible shape. It really, it's just a bunch of lines, and your brain creates a three-dimensional object that cannot exist in time or space. Maybe it could uh, from this angle. But if you turn it at another angle, it would not be what your brain's thinking about. I can assure you. See right here, this looks like, you know, rectangle, rectangle, oh, turns into a cylinder at some point, and whoops. Whoops, what did this thing come from? This thing wasn't even here, just cylinder in your face. So obviously this is a weird looking thing, but it's just cool. Alright, these circles... So, in order to fully get the full effect from this one, and I, it doesn't say what you're supposed to do here, but I can... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I accidentally clicked. What you're supposed to do is not click, first of all. Second of all, you're supposed to move your head in and out. First, pause the video so that you don't think that I'm moving it, all right? Just pause the video so there's absolutely no chance that I'm moving these circles. And you'll, you'll amaze yourself by how much you can get them to move just by moving your head forward and backward. Why they move exactly? I've... Well, I think it ha has something to do with the way your vision is warped. And see, it's, it, your vision is warped. It, the only... You, you think you see pretty well. You think your eyes do a pretty good job. And, and they do. They do. They, they send... 70 billion gigabytes of information in your brain every second or something crazy? No, that's wrong. What is it? No, that's right. It's right. 70... 
Or is it, no, not a billion gigabytes. That would be huge. 70 gigabytes. So it's just simple gigabytes. No billions involved. I just got 70 billion bytes or 70 gigabytes. And yes, I know that that's not what Microsoft would like. Microsoft has got some crazy 1,024 byte powers of 1,024. I'm using the SI unit here, okay? SI unit gigabyte. Don't hate in the comments, all right? It, look it up. Look it up before you hate, all right? Or make yourself look stupid by trying to make me look stupid. 70 billion bytes or 70 gigabytes, all right? SI. So you, your eyes do a pretty good job at looking and seeing information, but what they don't do a good job of is warping. Your brain has to deal with all the warping of your vision. The front, the very, what you're looking at, which will be the black dot, that's not warped very much. On the periphery, however, a lot of warping goes on. And your brain can sort it out, but it gets confused whenever you start changing your depth. That's, con that's confusing, and it, it the forgets how to warp it properly. And that's not someone's explanation that I've read. That is my own explanation that I've made for myself, so it may be wrong. Just keep that in mind. If you have something to hate about, that would be it. All right, now, you may have or may not have noticed that this looks nothing like this. Now, why that is, uh, I don't know. Why would it even be here? Because it's not really an illusion. Hmm, I don't, I don't know. I mean, turn the screen. I, I, I can't do it for you, but turn your head so that it looks like a rabbit. See, now it's a duck. But turn your head. To, I guess you could tilt it to the left like I'm doing. It looks kind of awkward. But you can tilt your head in such a manner so that this actually looks like a rabbit. Yeah, it's true. Try it. The Penrose Triangle. So maybe you've heard of the Penrose Stairs from a certain movie that was awesome that lasted like four hours and may or may not have had a sound associated with it. And a top that never stops spinning. I'm talking about Inception. I'm talking, okay, just so you know. Great movie. The Penrose Triangle. They use this, the Penrose Stairs. It's the Penrose Staircase. The staircase that just keeps on going up into infinity. And yet never goes higher. And here we have a triangle which apparently has only one side. See, if you were to work it out this side just no it has two sides let's see so this green side it has a top and a bottom no it has three sides what okay it has three sides I suppose what I don't know my, my brain just my brain's going to explode if I think about it any longer I'm not really sure what exactly you can imagine this shape would be very very difficult to construct not impossible but not, impo not possible to construct IRL in real life. But be v in three dimensions, I ra should rather say. This is, this is real life. It's just, you know, two dimensions. But this shape would be really difficult to construct. It has been done. But as soon as you were to change your angle of viewing, it would get messed up. All right. Reverse picture. Not really an illusion at all here. Just... A mirror image. I don't know what it's, this is doing here unless I'm missing something. Maybe it's an illusion because this doesn't look like this. Okay, this looks very much unlike this. I get. Oh, I get it. This is the eye, and this is whatever that thing is, or this thing. It's just showing a small part of the picture. How interesting. Okay. Bent lines. They aren't bent at all. Yeah. Look at that. Look. Pause the video if you must. And uh, you get a ruler out if you want. Or anything that you have made sure absolutely certain in the past is absolutely 100% uh, straight. Or at least 99% straight. You know, close enough to being straight to actually measure it. So, unless there's something horribly wrong with my recording software, these lines... Not these ones. Not these ones. Those those ones those aren't even lines. That's your that's your brain. But these lines 
these ones that go from left to right these are completely straight they are not bent at all now your brain probably makes it look bent because it probably for me it makes them kind of skew this way and you know, other ones on the bottom want to go you know this one wants to go down this one wants to go down this one wants to go up up I'm not really sure what kind of rhyme or reason there is to it. I mean, it, it, it always goes, let's see. This one always goes this way. This one always goes this way. That one goes up. This one goes up. Down, down. So, <clears throat> I, I guess it has something to do with the black it's, and the white, the way they're oriented. That's 100% of the illusion, I would think. Now, how exactly it makes your brain confused? I, I don't really know. I haven't looked this one up, so... Hmm. Post in the comments what you think is going on here. These are straight, by the way, so don't make yourself look stupid. The Aaron Stein illusion. Another case of a straight line that looks unstraight. We've got, a perfect, we got ourselves a perfect cube here. This cube is perfectly cubic. Don't believe me? Too bad. I don't really know how you could prove it to yourself. I mean, if you don't, if you still doubt me, that's sad, really. But somehow, this is just the simple circle you're. This is just simple circles inside of circles inside of circles just going on out to here. And then there's a simple cube put in front of it. And that's about it. That the illusion is that these things are bent. That's that then they're not. Oh gosh! I just clicked again. Awkward. Alright, here we have the Orbison illusion. Now I'm not sure what is wrong with my brain, but I don't see anything illusion elusive happening here at all. There aren't any illusions to me. And I'm trying to really see what it is. This is a standard cube, okay, and these are just standard blue lines to go out to here and then bend. It's a cute angle. It's more than 90 degrees. I, I don't get it. What, what's the illusion? I, I could never figure this out. Post in the comments what you think. The Pogendorf illusion. So here we've got uh, something that's very, very interesting. You can see, if you were, if you were to cover this up, if you were to none look at this, not look at this, you were to look at the left first and try to figure out which one of these lines, the black line, is connected to, or if it's in the middle, then you'd probably think, as I think, that it's connected to the blue one. Now, why that is, uh, I would say that it might be because it is closer in color. It's closer, in, not in color, but in brightness. I don't really know exactly, but on the right you can see very definitively that it is in fact connected to the red line. The red line at some point in this gray line, sensor line, some place in this gray sensor line it becomes black. Red goes to black. And the blue just stops going at some point. Up here, why not? It's very interesting. This, this is not the illusion, by the way. This is the illusion. Okay, that I, I look this one up. That's that's the case. It's very interesting. I think. Hope you do too. Post in the comments, as always. The phaser spiral illusion. Ah, oh, you might have seen this one in a cartoon or something. Might have seen this, or someplace, or I don't know. Basically, as much as it looks like a spiral. It's only an illusion. Yeah. Pause the video. Move your finger over these circles yourself. They are indeed circles. Are indeed. Look. They all, these are circles. These things, these are just white lines and, and black lines. And they're gray in the intersections. And they just spin out. They go in here like a warped like a black hole, like light going near a black hole, and they warp all the way back out. And these are circles. That's that's the point of this illusion. And of course there's black and white 
to make it look more spirally, more spherical, I guess might be the word. Just at random intervals, I suppose. Or perhaps it's more specific, I don't really know. The point is, this is an awesome illusion that could make you very dizzy, so I'll move on. To the last one. The same color illusion. So, this one is what we would have seen if I completed this game correctly, but I couldn't. In, in the time, it was quite... Basically, there's... As you might guess from the title, A and B are supposedly the same color. Now, it is they look so far apart that even I doubt that that's true, okay? Even I doubt that these are actually the same color. But supposedly, I do believe they are. If I'm, if I'm looking at this illusion all the way wrong, then you post in the comments, okay? And I'll, I'll maybe I'll run a little color sync program to try and figure it out. But I'm pretty sure that something bad happened here because that A and B that those just can't be the same color. I, I don't I don't even care. No way, none. But just post in the comments. All right, let us reload the page and get to work on the last game. I mean, the last game. No, you don't let you don't make me play this illusion again. Don't you dare do that. No, 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 no. Ah, no. Time wasted. No, I had no idea he was gonna do this. It didn't used to do this. All right. Best thing I can say about this is that it gives me a chance to finally show my true awesome colors. Get ready to blow your mind by watching me blow this game's physics out of the water. I'm going to beat it in a way that has never been beaten before, except by me in the past, a long time ago. Back when I was good at this game. Uh-oh. That's not the kind of sound I won't need to hear right now. Ooh. Feel. Yeah, so uh, I talk smack, and I get smacked down. Makes sense, doesn't it? Talking smack. I don't really think anyone's better than they talk smack. Post the comments if you are, huh? People talk smack, and they get smacked. It's really simple as that. Oh, I just accidentally awesome clicked. Need that click if I want a chance at winning. Yeah, win. Okay, and of course I have to say something during this, right? You don't just want to watch me do simple game and not have any commentary on it. You want to see me play and what? Hear me as I commentate it. I mean, what else is this but a gameplay commentary, right? Am I right? Or am I right, right? <laughs> I'm right-handed. Okay, so I'm right. I'm right. Handed. Right-handed. I am. Though my, most of my friends, I, I seriously, are actually left-handed. That's a, that's a true fact. Okay. And uh, so let me just give you so throw out some facts for you. Left-handed people, mm, they're kind of rare. It's like what, ten percent, twenty percent. I actually forgot just as soon as I started to say the numbers. I forgot. What I didn't forget is that I'm dead. Ah. What I also didn't forget is that. 30% of people are like me and are mixed handed, which means that while I'm using currently the uh, my right hand to use the trackpad and the keyboard right now, I could use my left hand almost as well. Now mixed handless, you, you will say, you will post some comments as where well. not only can you use both hands just as well, in some cases you should actually be able to, which would be ambidextrous. You should be able to actually, um, hold on, I, 
I, it's just hard to do this and think. You should be able to do mixed handedness, do something better with your left hand. Well, I, there are some things I can do better. I, on a trackpad, I use my right hand usually, but if it's a normal conventional mouse, I have to use my left hand or bad stuff happens. Bad stuff like hard drive deleted bad. That's how bad my accuracy is, okay? My right hand should get nowhere near a conventional mouse. So, if I ever come to your house, make sure you hide your mouse from my right hand. Okay? Okay. Well, I hope you've had some fun with our illusions. That was pretty much the name of today's episode. It's all we did about. That's like three quarters of the episode. Hope you, you had some fun with it. I hope you've posted some good comments on it, too. I'd love to read what your take on illusions are. Maybe link to some great more illusions. More great illusions, you know? I do believe that's now possible to do links in the comments. In, unless Google got rid of that because too many people got viruses. That, that's also true. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.